Welcome to our video recorded service of worship here at Christ Evangelical Lutheran Church of Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Our service today is for All Saints Day, November 1st. In our prayers, I will be remembering the entire world in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic once again, but here locally in Lewisburg, we will be naming Charm Liddick, who in the very near future will be undergoing treatment in Philadelphia. Also, we will be remembering David and Sally Holmes, who are in the midst of a transition from here in Lewisburg to a new home with family in South Carolina. We will, during this worship service, recall with thanksgiving 10 members of our congregation who have passed to God's kingdom since last All Saints Day. That ceremony will follow the sermon this morning. As always, we thank you for your support of our ministries here at Christ Lutheran Church, mailed to us or brought to the church office. On Tuesday, November 3rd, we hold an election with offices at stake at all levels of government. As I have before, I remind you of the great blessing we have in this nation to choose those who govern us. Some of you have done so already. It is not an easy thing to consider going to the polls in this time of COVID-19. In a COVID year, I pray that as many of you as do so will be able to do so safely. And I hope you will be able to go and vote. Let's prepare for worship by means of our prelude for the morning. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who in whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved. Amen. Amen. 
Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy One, we confess that we are not awake for you. We are not faithful in using your gifts. We forget the least of our siblings. We do not see your beautiful image in one another. We are infected by sin that divides your beloved community. Open our hearts to your coming. Open our eyes to see you in our neighbor. Open our hands to serve your creation. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we are God's children. And Jesus, our beloved, opens the door to us. Through Christ Jesus, your sins are forgiven. By Jesus, you are welcome. In Jesus, you are called to rejoice. Let us live in the promises prepared for us from the foundation of the world. Amen. Amen. Our confession offered, God's forgiveness assured. We sing our gathering song for All Saints Day, number 422, for all the saints.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also, also with you. you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment, and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We continue with the lessons for the day. Our first reading is from Revelation, the seventh chapter. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders, and on the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshiped God, singing, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be to our God, forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, robed in white, and where have they come from? And I said to him, Sir, 
You are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The second reading comes from 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that they did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. I recently had a rare, enjoyable occasion to take a drive in our region. And that day, I noted the number of churches and other buildings which were named for saints, at least 10 of them. It reminded me of how religion has always been seen as a meritocracy, where those of high achievement are rewarded with a designation of sainthood. In some branches of Christianity, church leaders occasionally designate new people whose lives seem to have merited the status of sainthood. We might think of these as the saints with a capital S. There is another way to consider the word, however, and we need to consider our lessons for today in seeing this, and perhaps to consider also the ten candles which are on the altar before me as we worship this day. Our gospel lesson takes us to that mountaintop in Galilee where Jesus spoke to a large crowd of people, and he offered the Beatitudes. They are blessings. He offered these to the crowd who listened to him. The whole crowd had characteristics which Jesus named and which many of us might think of as disadvantages. They were poor in spirit. They were mourning. They were the meek. They were hungry for unfulfilled righteousness. They were merciful. 
They were pure in heart. They were peacemakers. They were the persecuted and the slandered. But as the Lord named each of these, he called them not pathetic, but blessed. Then, having named these characteristics, Jesus described the blessings which not just the special people out there would receive, but all of them. And the Lord concluded at the end of our reading for the day, for the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Jesus was not referring to an outcome here on this earth. He was speaking of a place beyond this world. It is a place where the saints, with a small s, will abound and share in the glory of God. In our first lesson for the day from the Revelation to John, we share John's vision of what this all will look like. And he wrote, After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. Well, folks, we are not there yet. And yes, I did say we. As a baptized child of God, claimed in Christ's name, each of us, every one of us, are called to have this kingdom of God as our destiny to share. It is not a destiny for only the few who are thought of as the great. It is intended to be a destiny for everyone. And so we should think of everyone called in Christ, including ourselves, as the saints. Today we are commemorating 10 of the saints people we have known and shared life with and struggled with through difficult times. And in many cases, they are 10 we have loved. Many of you, like me, have strong and fond memories of them, and they are missed among us. In some ways, it makes a commemoration like today's difficult. But these Christ Lutheran Church members called to be saints and claimed by Jesus the Christ, are not lost, not to Christ, and therefore not to us. We live in the hope that their destiny is now with the presence of God, and that someday we will be with them in that throng which John the seer saw and foretold. And then what of us in the here and now? For now, we go forward as saints in a messy world filled with COVID and conflict and tough decisions. We have challenges in almost every day. And to paraphrase what Albus Dumbledore once said to Harry Potter, it is not our abilities who make us who we are, it is our choices. I would amend the wisdom of Albus by adding, just a bit, our choices knowing who we are as the people of God. We choose each day about COVID decisions, about election decisions, about education decisions, about job-related decisions, and so many more. Choosing on the basis of our sainthood identity is a very wise way to choose. When we choose based on our sainthood identity and the priorities of the Lord, blessing of others will carry the day time after time after time. And the world will see in our choices a small glimpse of the kingdom of God that John the seer foretold. People around us will know what it means to be a saint. 
with a small s. As we observe this All Saints Day of 2020, people of God, let's emphasize the all. I'm going to now invite Charlene to come forward and assist me as we remember our departed saints. On this All Saints Sunday, we remember with thanksgiving those who have gone before us with the sign of faith, for they were created by God to offer him praise forever. He gave them new life through his Son in holy baptism. He nourished them in the company of his people at his holy table, and his mercy has summoned them to his presence so they may continue in joyful service to him forever. Let us pray. In joyful expectation of the resurrection to life, we remember before you, O Lord, our fellow church members who have gone before us in faith. With flowers placed on the altar and a candle for each of them, we speak their names and remember that each now lives with Christ, the light of the world. Francis Baker. Harold Wagner. Carol Baker. Janet Schwem. Gloria Sloniker. Jack Solomon. Elizabeth Proant, Donald Harvey, Richard Skelton, and Matthew Boris. With the lighting of a candle, we also remember before you, O oh Lord, other family members, friends and neighbors who shared faith with us in the Lord Jesus Christ and whose names we speak before you. All these we commend to your eternal care, O oh Lord. May their memory among us be blessed, and may we follow their footsteps of faith to your eternal presence in the heavenly kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Living together in trust and hope with believers around the world, we confess our common faith. We believe, we believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father the, the Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Longing for Christ's reign to come among us, we pray for the outpouring of God's power on the church, the world, and all in need. Lord of all the saints, we praise you for evangelists and martyrs whose sacrifices witness to your gospel across time and space. Inspire us by their courage to carry our faith to new people and places around us. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy is great. great. Lord of every nation, guide this country. Rural voters and urban voters, the young and the old, as we share in another national election. Kindle hearts eager to understand our common needs and to seek our common good. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy is great. great. Lord of every venture, anoint us with the missionary spirit of the early church. Bless all new missions of our synod. Empower testimony from new communities of faith to shape a diverse witness to your saving power. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. Lord, as we gather here in worship this day, we again ask your blessing upon the whole world in the midst of the COVID pandemic which threatens us all. We pray for those who are afflicted. We pray for those who care for them. We pray for researchers who throughout the world seek medications which will assist the suffering and prevent this virus from spreading further. We pray here at home for Charm. And we pray for David and Sally in their time of transition. We pray for all who are named on our prayer list this week and ask that you would bless each according to their needs. Be with those who are rebuilding from the destruction of recent hurricane storms. And Lord, as we have named all of these before you this day, bless also those named before you now as well. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy is great. Lord of every time, countless are the multitudes you have called by name and gathered to yourself. Comfort us as we grieve those who have died in the past year. In faith, may we join with them in ceaseless praise. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy is great. Receive our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, until that day when you gather all creation around your throne, where you will reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And, and also, also with you. And wherever you are watching this video, may you share the blessing of peace with those you love. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will, will be done, done on earth as, as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the God of all creation, in whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved, 
who strengthens us for service, give you reason to rejoice and be glad. The blessing of God, Sovereign, Savior, and Spirit be with you today and always. Amen. Amen. Our sending song for the day is number 873, Rejoice Ye Pure in Heart. Beloved of God, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please enjoy our postlude presented for you today. Soon our happy hearts will quit. 